Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Johnny Snyder, and thank you for uh, tuning in. Today we are going to be unboxing the uh, Esob Renegade Volt. It is a battery powered stick welder, also do TIG welding, and it runs and powered by DeWalt batteries. So and we start with uh, the four battery charger. It is going to be the DCB104 fast charge. So what comes with is 60 volt, um, 12 AH flex volt batteries from DeWalt, and then that is the machine. Looking great. Fairly light machine, not super heavy. That is going to be the battery pack that holds uh, the batteries, and basically it's the power source to this. Clips on just like that. Beautiful fit. Simple enough. As soon as the batteries are charged up, slide in just like that. Pretty nice little setup. So we're going to be starting. Uh, the first step is putting on these two metal brackets that go on the battery battery pack. I'm sorry, on the bottom of the machine. So we carefully flipped over the machine, and then as you can see, the hole's already there, and the pieces just kind of fit in perfectly. Pretty easy, pretty easy setup right there. Carefully flip the machine back over and ready to put it in place on the battery. Oh, look at that snap. Oh man, that was a lot harder on there than I thought to uh, snap it down. But that is a really good thing. So if you end up carrying this machine um, with the battery pack attached to it, it's definitely not gonna be falling off. So I was very happy that they made this, uh, this latch heavy duty and definitely can put a lot of trust in it holding. That's the cord that will plug the power pack into the back of the, the welder. And also the machine has a regular power cord to plug it in. And here I just wanted to show you the overall length of that. And even though I have uh, the camera shows the wide angle, it, it's a pretty long cord. No, oh, that's the pigtail I was just talking about. You go from 220 to 110 if you may need it. So that is the ground clamp. Uh, pretty heavy duty. It's, it's good. Yep. And that is the stinger or the electrode holder. And that is a 200 amp electrode holder. Feels pretty solid as well. All right, let's dive into this charger. So it's supposed to be a fast charger from DeWalt. It uh, holds four batteries at once and regular wall power, regular uh, 110. Sixty volt. It's a flex volt, so it's twenty volt and sixty volt. So I'm too happy with these. They fit in very nice. They're not too hard to get in. They actually fit very comfortably in there. Easy to get in. Plugging this in, there is a top and a bottom portion of this. You'll see the arrow on there that I had pointed out. Um, arrow goes up on the top. And it kind of like a twist lock. You want to pull it off, twist that, pull it off. And uh, same option you put it on, it kind of twists and locks into place. Cool feature, glad to do that. Waiting to power up. So right now, currently we're running off of the batteries that I had showed you that I just put in the machine. Um, it is not connected to wall power. And we're up. It's the first time turn the machine on. Starting off, 109 amps, and we're just gonna go through 
couple of the settings here on the machine just to see what's all on there my first time turning it on. So some of these settings are actually very similar to like a, a phone settings and things like that. You have brightness, you have battery power. Um, it'll show you like the battery life on the machine. Uh, it also has like a sleep mode. So when you're not using it for a while, it'll just automatically go to sleep and save you some battery life on there. Pretty cool. Amp plus mode, from what I understand, is where you have battery power and you have wall power both going on simultaneously. So if you have surges or uh, unreliable power, the battery will make up for the, um, the lost power or the uh, inflection of the power surging. So that's pretty cool that they added that. Actually, I don't know if I've ever heard of that anywhere else, but that's pretty cool. Get to pick which battery, you know, so you let the no machine know which batteries you have in there. Those are the three options um, that the machine will take. Also takes a remote control, which I haven't div dove into the remote control stuff yet. <clears throat> pretty simple back button, pretty simple features. So you can save jobs on here, maybe like settings. And yeah, switch it from stick to TIG fairly easy. I don't have a TIG set up for this, but uh, eventually I will. That'll be uh, probably another video. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty basic settings, but at the same time, pretty much everything that you are going to need. It's all right there. And it's simple as that. You just click the button, power it down. You're done. Once again, I'm Johnny Snyder with Johnny as well. Thank you for watching the video of unboxing the ESOV Renegade Bolt. Awesome machine. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Learned a lot. If anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out on here. Leave a comment. Hit me up on Instagram. Um, however you need to call with me. But um, shout out to Esob. Awesome machine. You guys knocked out of the park with this one. Yeah, seriously. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That helps me out a ton. Do what you need to do. Get it. By the way, you need this shirt. It's on my website. Hey, what's up? Is this rough? Yeah. All right. So you need a repair out in the field, huh? Gotcha. See you there in 20 minutes.